Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video lesson about how to find the area of irregular polygons. So you're going to hear me uh, refer to a lot, something called a, a composite figure. So just what exactly is a composite figure? So a composite figure is a figure that consists of more than one shape. So we'll say a figure that consists of more than one shape. So an example of a, a composite figure is over here. Okay, so if you notice we have a rectangle, okay, and then also a right triangle. And together they make this shape um, that looks like a trapezoid. So basically to find the area of this shape, um, I'm gonna find the area of the rectangle and then find the area of the triangle and then add them together. So, before we do that though, let's just review the different formulas you've learned so far. So to find the area of a rectangle, it's length times width. To find the area of a triangle, it's base times height. Then you divide it by two. And then to find the area of a parallelogram, it's base times height. And then to find the area of a trapezoid, it's the average of the bases. So base one plus base two divided by two times the, the height. All right, so to find the area of this image, I'm gonna find first the area of the rectangle. So that's gonna be area equals length times width. And then I'm gonna add the area of the right triangle. So that's gonna be area equals base times height divided by two. So let's first focus on the uh, rectangle. So I know the base is 15 and the height is 12. So 15 times 12 will give us an area of 180 square centimeters. So that's the area of the rectangle. And now for the area of the triangle, well, base times height, well, seven times, um, so area, excuse me, area is gonna be seven times 12 and divide it by two. So seven times 12 is 84, and the 84 divided by two is 42. So the area of that triangle piece is going to be 42 square centimeters. And then finally to find the area of the entire thing, I'm going to add these two areas together. So 180 plus 42 will give us 222 square centimeters. And that's it. All right. Now, because this is also a trapezoid, we could have just figure out the area of the trapezoid and that should be the same as the area of adding the rectangle plus the triangle together. All right, so why don't you uh, pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did this practice problem. So here we have a shape that consists of a rectangle on the top, then also a trapezoid on the bottom. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the area of the, the rectangle and then the area of the trapezoid and then add them together. So to find the area of a rectangle, I know it's gonna be length times width. So that's gonna be eight times four, which is gonna be 32, right? So eight times four gives us 32. So the area of the rectangle is 32 square feet. So I'm actually gonna even write that right inside here, 32. Now to find the area of the bottom, which is a trapezoid, I need to use a formula. It's base one plus base two and divide it by two to get the average and then times it by the, the height. So base one is 14 and base two is eight. So it's gonna be 14 plus eight divided by two and then I'm gonna times it by the height which is right here which is four. So 14 plus eight is 22 and 22 divided by two is 11 and 11 times four is 44. So I know the area of the trapezoid is 44 square feet. So I'm gonna write that in here as well. So finally, to get the area of the composite shape, I'm gonna add 44 and 32, and that'll give us 76 square feet. And there's the answer. All right, how'd you do?